Are you a doctor that can speak English, but you need to practice your fluency in medical terminology? Well, I think you're going to like the video today because you're going to be practicing your fluency in the context of asthma. So in today's lesson, you're going to be learning some keywords associated with asthma. And then there will be a dialogue between a doctor and a patient on a potential asthma diagnosis. And that's where you are going to be practicing your fluency. And watch the video all the way to the end because I give you a few more surprise tips on how to improve your fluency. Hi, my name is Dr. HS. I have a PhD in medicine. I'm an Australian scientist. I'm a translator and I have this YouTube channel to help you, to help healthcare professionals improve their medical English. If that idea sounds interesting to you, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to improve your fluency even more, don't forget to watch the other videos that I have that will help your fluency. The keywords of today are asthma, 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 breathing, 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 symptoms, symptoms, symptoms. Wheezing, wheezing, wheezing. Medication, 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 medication. Swell, swell, swell. Narrow. Narrow, narrow. Life threatening, life threatening, life threatening. Hi Mrs. Smith, I'm Samantha. I'm a respiratory doctor. How are you? I'm okay. I have reviewed your medical results and looked at your referral letter. Thanks for coming to see me today. Can you tell me what brought you in? I have been having trouble breathing. I cough a lot and I feel really tired in the morning. My usual doctor asked me to see you. Okay, so when do you typically have these symptoms? Well, I usually cough at night, but I have trouble breathing all the time. Do you smoke? No. Does anything trigger your symptoms? Mm. 
Mm, sorry, I don't know what you mean. Okay, so have you noticed if anything makes your symptoms get worse? Like pollen or anything around the house? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, it always gets worse when I have a cold. Do you have a family history of asthma? Oh yeah, my brother, my sister and my mum have asthma. Okay, I'm going to listen to your lungs and check your breathing. Hmm, I hear a lot of wheezing. Have you noticed this before? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. I get a lot of wheezing at night. So do you know what I have, Doctor? Based on what you have described to me today. As well as the results from your medical exams. I believe you have asthma. Oh, wow. What does that mean for me? Asthma is a condition in which your airways narrow and swell. And may produce extra mucus. And this can make breathing quite difficult and trigger coughing and wheezing. For some people, asthma is minor. While for others, it can be a major problem that interferes with daily activities. And may lead to a life-threatening asthma attack. Oh wow, so what happens now? Okay, we're going to work together to track your signs and symptoms. And adjust your treatment as needed to keep it under control. I'm going to write you an asthma action plan for For you to follow. And so you know what to do when your signs and symptoms get worse. You're going to go on a preventer. Which is an inhaled medication. You will take it once in the morning and once at night.
and you will use your reliever when you have an asthma attack. Now I'm going to ask the nurse to teach you how to use these inhaled medications properly. Does that sound okay? Yeah, yeah, it's very similar to what my mum uses, so I'm quite familiar with it. Okay, so treating asthma early may prevent long-term lung damage. and help keep the condition from getting worse over time. Contact me straight away if your medication doesn't seem to ease your symptoms. Or if you need to use your quick relief inhaler more often. And don't take more medication than prescribed without consulting me first, okay? Overusing asthma medication can cause side effects. Okay, so should I book another appointment? Yes, please. I would like to see you in four weeks to see how your asthma is progressing. And don't forget to see the nurse on your way out so she can teach you the proper use of this inhaled medication. Okay, doctor, thank you. So in today's video, you learned a lot about asthma. What type of specialist was in the video? Was it a cardiologist, an ophthalmologist, or a respiratory specialist? What type of specialist have you been to? So you see, you just learned a few more technical words today. Well done. So how did you find that lesson? What do you want to learn next? Leave the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and watch some more videos to improve your medical English. See you soon.